going on guys and welcome back to another episode on the Black Bill's YouTube channel. Uh, hey, today we're gonna be Ella swapping this turd right here. It, it is a, I think a 06, so 05 G35, um, same model as this one, but this one's Brembo car. This one's not a Brembo car. Yeah, it's a base model. So if you follow the channel from a couple months ago, one of my customers had a white Honda Civic, uh, it was a K-Swap car. He got messed over on that deal, so he ended up selling the car. And since then, we bought like three cars that we wanted an LS swap. Originally, he did want to get a G35 uh, to LS swap, but just like mine, because I already ha pretty much have the platform and layout of how the car would go together. And we couldn't find one for a good deal. So he ended up getting the 240, which I traded him uh, for some labor to do the swap on. And then he got an S, no, he got a new edge Mustang and the, the new edge Mustang ended up having a title issue where the guy lied to him about the title issue. So, uh, he got another G35 before this one, but it had rust in it. So, um, but it had lower miles on it. So, you know, trading it for this car, um, he ended up trading it for this car and we are going to finally yellow swap it. So somebody is about to work on pulling the motor out of the car and, uh, Later on, I'm gonna go through everything that we're gonna do to the car. It's pretty much gonna be the exact same setup as uh, the Hippo when it was a street car. And it's the same intercooler. He bought my old intercooler. Uh, he bought, except for he is using the Vic Jr. Um, uh, Iron Block 5.3, BTR Stage 3 Turbo Cam, uh, S475. Holly, right? Yeah, and it's gonna be on Holly. Oh, man, no Fuel <laughs> Nah, Fuel Tech, Fuel Tech don't make no cheap stuff so it's gonna be a holly car it's gonna be on a terminator so it's pretty budget friendly i'm gonna do a full br video breakdown on everything on this car unlike how i did the g so all you guys out there that are interested in doing your ella swap zgs you can have a pretty much how to uh platform on how to go about your swap and what you can get oh god this thing's got glare in it and what you can get to get your swap going and accomplished all right, so something knocked out getting the front support off. Damn, this thing got a new alternator on it. But something knocked out getting the front radiator support off, the radiator condenser, all that stuff. Um, the transmission is drained. The oil out of the motor is drained. We got the drive shaft out. Uh, and uh, we're about to take the, the old cats out. And then we should be able to pull the swap out after that. Um, so after we get the swap out, then I'll go ahead and explain everything to y'all about what's going to be going on with this car. All right, guys, so got the motor out, bump the cell frame back on right now, and I'm just uh, tearing apart the transmission from the motor. And uh, like I said before, the customer already has the engine sold. The transmission is for sale. If anybody needs a 06, 07 G35 transmission, I think it's 05, 06. I think 07s, they came with a seven speed. Um, but anyway, uh, gotta clean up this engine mate, cause damn, this thing is, <laughs> is beat. It's got 200,000 miles of just straight shit in the engine bay. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and finish separating this thing. And then, like I said earlier, we're gonna talk about the setup and what he's gonna put in the car. All right guys, so that's the next day now. I forgot to f film the stuff, well, I didn't forget. Yesterday was like super hot. I was all frustrated and hot and bothered. And uh, we got the car out. The bay is now empty now. And we may just be putting the G on the lift today and pulling the transmission out of it. All right, so as far as his setup goes, he's using the same exact ISR mounts that I used on my G. Um, he, he, he's, these are <laughs> these are just some new ones. Um, I sold my set to another guy when I first part of my car out. I uh, just got a Siki oil pan, a Siki uh, oil filter relocation kit, and uh, in this box we got the BTR Stage Two, no Stage Three Turbo Cam. Um, he's got a host of other things. I don't, we just started ordering a bunch of stuff. My old Vic Junior, my old torque converter sitting right here. He also is getting the trans out of the G, like I said before. Um, he's got the same shifter I have, same, he bought the old um, fuel pumps I had, 
Uh, no, I had AEMs on mine. Uh, and he bought, what else did he buy? Bought the same shifter I have, same identical setup. So you can expect this car to be, uh, well, his car to be as fast, if not faster than the G, because we're only gonna, we're planning on taking this car to like some decent tracks, unlike me, where I used to just take my car anywhere and just let the same tune up in it and just hope, hope it worked. <laughs> but um, a goal for cars, pay, maybe like mid, well, high nines, well, low nines, I'm sorry. The goal for a car is low nine, so like maybe like a 920, 91 or something like that um, on paper. Uh, but, well, yeah, from a time slip. But on my on paper, my car, if I ran the quarter out, when I ran the 590, it should have went like an 880, 870. So, uh, he also has, uh, in this box, he's got like a, well, in that box, right? In this box right right here he's got uh refurbished s475 same place that i got my turbo from on ebay um and i mean pretty much this is probably just gonna be a short video uh pulling the car apart explaining what's going on with it and i didn't bring my gopers yesterday so i'm filming on my phone so yesterday would have been well this video would have been a lot longer with more like detail of what we did with the car, but something was pulling that car apart. I was doing something else yesterday and then going back and forth between helping him and pulling the car apart. But today, um, motor sitting right down there. But today, uh, we're probably just gonna pull the G on the lift. I need to get the trans in the car and um, I need to make a mount for it. And Stumpy is also, I'm also gonna film a video on Stumpy pulling apart his first LS engine, which should be interesting because my man right here is a Honda fanboy. So even though he's a Honda fanboy, he still can't pull a Honda motor apart what? by himself without my help. Do what? Yeah, because Flo right. needs a new timing chain and he still won't pull it apart himself. I have to do it. Nope, well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. Oh, if y'all know anybody that buys damn used transmissions, I got like this shit right here that came out of the 350Z. I got a T56 from a Challenger, and I got a 6R80 that needs a rebuild. So if y'all know anybody that needs some damn used transmissions, holla at your boy, because I need to get rid of these things because it's becoming a damn motor and transmission stable over here, along with the pile of motors and shit that I got back there. And yeah, we got motors over there. Don't worry about the and we got a motor right there on the stand <laughs> and then we got another motor back there on the stand we got like a, we got there. motors everywhere back, back there, there back there looks like a uh, mini version yard. of lkq <laughs> <laughs> the motor department <laughs> but as always comment like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next episode